Is this what's in Kenya's future? Plants grown without soil, and in this case, not maize, but the humble potato? Researchers from the Peru-based International Potato Center and the Kenya Agricultural Research Institute are conducting experiments on harvesting seeds from potato plants grown using aeroponic technology. Seeds are germinated in the laboratory. The seedlings are then fixed into holes cut out of styrofoam sheets. And then, after the seeds are developed further, they are harvested and distributed to farmers. Soil often contains bacteria and other microorganisms harmful to potato plants. And seeds infected with viruses produce low potato yields. Victor Otazu is aeroponic specialist with the International Potato Center. Aeroponic seed, we were able to, to produce 40 tons per hectare. Now the farmers seed only yield 8 to 10 tons per hectare. So you can see the difference in, in, in yield production. So if we are able to produce to enough seed for all farmers, we will be a, um, producing a lot of potatoes for, for Kenya. Mm -hmm. Maize has been Kenya's staple crop for ages. The researchers say that potatoes grown from the superior seeds of aeroponic technology could replace maize as Kenya's staple crop and help to protect the country from droughts. Researcher Miriam Mbiu. I think uh, we have relied so much on maize for a long time, Kenyans, and bearing in mind that uh, Potato is a short crop. It runs only for three months. And uh, maize runs for, the shortest one runs for five months. Another eight months, seven months also. So we are trying to encourage farmers to get into this, at least to boost up our, our economy. Farmer Derek Rolstein likes the idea. Yeah. If you have difficulty uh, and drought the generally you will harvest something from potatoes and it's very unlikely that you'll get a complete crop failure whereas with maize in the last few weeks of production is when most of the uh, yield is produced and so uh, it's it's more i would say drought uh, prone than than potato crops but that might be a tough sell for many Kenyans, their number one comfort food is a polenta-like dish called ugali, made from maize meal. Another favorite dish, a stew of maize and beans called gideri, is equally central to the Kenyan diet. A quick survey on the streets of the capital, Nairobi, bears this out. Normally, I consume the normal food of an African. That is maize, gideri, talk of the beans, meat. Myself, I consume maize. As you can see, I'm very strong. So it's only maize. I consume mukali. Yeah, I consume mukali, I consume kiteri, I'm a kikuyu, so you see maize will always be part of my life. Personally, I've been thinking, you know, it is high time for Kenya to change. Me, I come from bigger districts where potato is, you know, is gaining momentum. So many people are switching, so many people are you know, are planting you know, potatoes. The aeroponic experiments are expected to be concluded in a year. Researchers say they aim to set up aeroponic units in other parts of the country and to urge farmers to grow more potatoes and Kenyans to eat them. Kathy Maitney for VOA News, Nairobi.